Right, this is Bank Junction at 7 o'clock in the morning, well quarter past 7 in the morning and curiously it is very empty, the reason being is that the City of London in their infinite wisdom have decided to close the junction to all traffic except for buses and bicycles so that's why you're looking at what used to be one of the busiest junctions in London empty at quarter past seven in the morning but there you go uh, enough of that that is the towers of the financial centre of the city of London behind Cornhill and I'm going to go for a little walk up Cornhill This incidentally is the Mansion House and I assume they're getting ready for the Lord Mayor's show. To the left there is the old lady of Threadneedle Street, the Bank of England. And as already stated, this is Cornhill. Sorry, am I just saying Cornhill? This is the Cornhill Exchange, and this street is Cornhill. Hope's Head Alley. Let's walk up here. They're in a rush. Look how far back we're going with them dates. There's 2,000 years of history in London. But Lombard Street is a video for another day, so I'm going to walk back up Pope's Head Alley, which was pretty uninspiring. <laughs> and that I assume is the Pope's head. There's another one, Change Alley. Let's walk up here. Another plaque, another bit of history.
So I'm just going to walk up the end here, just to see what's up here. It's going to bring us back out into Lombard Street, and then I'm going to walk up and go back down that little offshoot of Change Alley. Yeah, as I suspected, not much to see. Just engraved into the brickwork, that was. So they must have, in 1928, they must have knocked down a 17th century building <laughs> to build this. Oh well. London's always changing. So this is a little offshoot of Change Alley. There's just plaques and things to see everywhere around here. Look at the pipes coming out of that building. Up here, look. The site of Caraway's Coffee House, rebuilt 1874. And there's, uh, looks like a grasshopper now. Not well, I'm not sure how well you're picking that up. Here's another plaque. Sort of the King's Arms Tavern. It's just everywhere you go, there's something to see. Now this is still Change Alley. All of this is Change Alley by the looks of it. I'll walk up here, just in case there's any more plaques or anything interesting to see. So, um, that building that was knocked down and rebuilt in 1928, I'm just going to go into Lombard Street and see what the front of it looks like. And I think that says Martini. <laughs> the inventor of Martini? God knows. Tiny little pieces of artwork. Alright, so there's that grasshopper again. Let's walk across Lombard Street and just look back at what was built in this place. I mean, it's still a grand building. I wonder what the grasshopper signifies. There's an anchor there. As you can see for yourself. Look at that up there, Scottish Widows and Life Assurance Society. So I'll just have a look up here. This is still this is still Change Alley. I think we're coming out to Birchin Lane because that building there is Birchin Court so I would assume this is Birchin Lane right I'm gonna let's have a look at that there's that grasshopper again 
So I'm going to walk back up here, back out to Change Alley, back onto Cornhill. Because it is really meant to be about Cornhill and the side streets, this video. Everywhere you look, above doorways, there's plaques and busts and all sorts of things. Who's she? Is she a Scottish widow? So that was all of that was Change Alley. And I'm back out onto Corn Hill. And just over the road, I've seen that grasshopper again. I'm just going to go and have a look. So this is the back of the Corn Hill, Corn Hill Exchange. Oh, sorry, the Royal Exchange, Corn Hill. The grasshopper is a family symbol of Sir Thomas Gresham, who built the original version of the Royal Exchange in 1571. The building has burned down twice since, and the giant gilded grasshopper weather vane that sits atop today's atop today's structure has survived both fires and continues to survive the City of London. There you go. That's why we keep seeing a grasshopper. Twelve eighty two. It's crazy. The dates are crazy. Pump was erected in 1799. That's mad. The history is unbelievable. It's all around in the city of London. Royal Exchange buildings. Let's see, I was calling that the Cornhill Exchange. Them bells you just heard, that signifies that it's half past seven. So, um, if I cross the road again, there's another little alleyway, Cowper's Court. Let's see what we can find down Cowper's Court. Not much to see, really. Cowper's Court. Right, so we're back on Birchin Lane. There's Cowper's Court. I'm going to walk up Birchin Lane. Back up to Corn Hill.
just to have a look at it from the top. So that's where we just was over there, outside the Royal Exchange. Castle Colt. Well, I'm coming back to that, but obviously, while I'm in Birchin Lane, I've got to walk the whole length of it and show you what else is up here. Another little lane, Bengal Colt. Wow, well, there's just alleyways and surprises everywhere, really. So this is the end of Birchin Lane, we're back on Lombard Street again. That's looking down towards Bank. And that's looking down towards Fenchurch Street. So let's walk up these little alleyways that I see up here. See, these are the little things you miss. I'm walking back. I didn't notice this on the way down. This plaque was given by the Royal Navy in memory of Captain Ralph Douglas Binney, CBE Royal Navy. Right, okay. On the 8th of December 1944, died from injuries received when bravely and alone he confronted violent men raiding a jeweler's shop in this lane and struggle to prevent their escape. Wow. You know, I was just gonna say that's insane and I think it says that there. It's insane. Right, so, Bengal Colt. This is quite narrow. Let's walk down here. You know what, I bet that was a pub back in the day. I don't know, but possibly. Look at this here. Wow, well, it looks so old. So well preserved. It's hard to find places like this in the city of London these days. All the new buildings, office buildings, a lot of it was flattened during the war, so that's why a lot of the old stuff gets built over, or it has been built over in the past. And it opens up into this space, which is George Yard. Bengal Court. Oh, look at that, the Georgian Vulture. Is that a pub? It must have used to have been a pub. Established 1600. There's just too much to see around here. Look at this. The Georgian Vulture. That's amazing, yeah, that is still a pub, there's a menu on the wall. Chop house. <laughs> this is mad. You just uh, 
St Michael's Alley. Just, there's things to see everywhere. You're just walking back through history and time walking around these places. The Jamaica Wine House. Castle Court. Oh, this is the one that we see off of Birchin Lane. Bespoke tailors. Look at this. Who would know these places were even here? The Georgian Vulture, I'm definitely coming back and having a drink in the Georgian Vulture one day. Look at these tiles, look. What amazing places. Ball Court. I mean, would you look at that? I'm just going to walk up the end of, is it Castle Court or Castle Lane? I can't remember now, but um, just to see if there's anything interesting up here. Cutting. Yes, Castle Court. We're back out on the Virgin Lane. Barbers this way, all right. So we've covered that. I'm intrigued to see what's down Ball Court. Was it Ball Court? I think it was. Yeah, Ball Court. Let's walk down here. Another little pub in the back streets of the city. Simpsons Tavern, I think this is. Yeah, Simpsons. Wow. Emirates. <laughs> it's quite low. So I would assume this is coming back out onto Cornhill. Ball Court. And there is a sign for Simpsons Tavern. Union Discount Company of London, PLC. And now it's Zenith Bank. Well, I'm going to walk back up Ball Court. 